Hi, everyone. Thanks for um, taking the time to tune in today. Uh, it's Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023, and I am going to sort all my stuff that I got on this shopping trip. So I went to one regular Goodwill on Friday. Um, I left here from my house in Saratoga, Wyoming, about, what, three, uh, 4 o'clock um, in the afternoon because I just had to put in another full work day. I didn't want to. I wanted to source longer. I wanted to go to the bins early, but <coughs> excuse me, it just didn't happen. So we went up and had supper with my family and played Catan and some games. And um, while we were waiting for supper to be delivered, I went to the Goodwill for about an hour is all I had. Um, our Goodwill's in Wyoming, at least in Laramie and Cheyenne, they still close at 7 p.m. I don't know what Casper is doing. I need to check that out. But it's just never recovered post-COVID. And, um, you know, so it makes it really difficult for me. Like I used to be able to leave here, like work all day here, put in a full day, get some typing done get my, you know, um, shipping done and all that, and then leave here at four, get there about 5.30 or six, and still have three hours to source. But that's not the case anymore, so I'm kind of rushed during the day. Um, so at this first, at the only Goodwill, the regular Goodwill, I spent 46.11. So, and I'm sorting for myself. I'm sorting the consignment from what's going to go on eBay, and then I'll have to wash it too. But um, the stuff I got at the regular Goodwill is almost never consignment unless um, I find some damage or something to it. But I don't pay full full Goodwill prices, obviously, to just consign it. Um, at least I've never found anything that I want to do that with. Um, so let's see. Adult tops and bottoms are three seventy five dollars at this place. And then adult denim is four fifty. So I had three pair of jeans that they charged me four fifty a piece for, and everything else I'm going to show you is considered an adult top or bottom at three seventy five, which is great. I mean, there are times when I question, you know, even going to the bins because this is about on jeans. It's probably double. Like you can get a pair of jeans at the bins at a dollar eighty nine a pound. You could get, you know a two pound pair of jeans or less for $1.89, whereas I'm paying $4.50. So it is still a lot cheaper to go to the bins. <coughs> but um, on tops and bottoms, you know, uh, $3.75, it's just, it's a pretty good price. We're pretty spoiled at our regular Goodwills. All right, so let's get started on the regular Goodwill stuff. So this is a Philadelphia Eagles. It's a 1994. And it's a bike brand. I didn't find this particular shirt, but I looked and there are a lot of sports brands that were on this bike brand. And um, since it's uh, since it has this, um, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I'm very careful on jerseys or anything like that. I don't even try to attempt to learn that stuff. Um, that's something that I guess I would consign if I came into it. But this is in very, very good condition. So I think I can get about 25 based on some of the other teams. I don't know if the Eagles are going to be more popular or less popular, but I definitely want 25 plus shipping. I'm going to start it at that. <coughs> and I didn't take the time to look at Terapeak when I was in the Goodwill. So when I, you know, I might take a quick glance at Terapeak. Um, this is just an Ariat Pro. I just sold one this week, only mine was new with tags. So I got 20-something um, plus shipping, 25, I think, plus shipping. I'll probably only charge, I mean, I'll start it at like $17.99. I can get 25 or 30 if I wait six months, but I don't have the cash flow or want to do that. I don't want to store it. I don't want to do that. So I'll start it at like 17 or 18 plus shipping and then my coupon and some promoted listings will take effect. So um, it's just a normal, let's see what size is it? It's a large. I think my other one that was brand new was an extra large. So that's why it sold so fast. But I'm still happy with that for three, what am I paying? $3.75. Okay. This is Yves Saint Laurent and... Um, it's a pair of man's pants. These are 36, 32, so they're a good solid size. That's what my husband is. 
<coughs> they're pleated and pleated dress pants and even corduroy seem to be in right now so these are gray they do have some wool in them they're kind of a wool blend i believe yeah 35 percent wool so i looked these up and i should be able to get 25 to 30 all the all the buttons are there and everything looks good i didn't see any moth holes or any problem since it's partially wool so um i'm definitely going to start these at 25 or more plus shipping this is kind of an experiment it's a um lauren ralph lauren i'm doing really good in this brand i sold that fair isle sweater this week for like 48 dollars, i believe it was and um it was a it was either a large or an extra large um this is just a really pretty purple i don't know if you can see it because of you know the lighting and stuff but it's just a really pretty solid dark deep purple it's a large and i think it's just cotton but um I didn't know if we were going to go to the bin, <coughs> bins the next day when I bought all this. And um, so I was kind of making sure that if I was just doing thrift stores that I still kind of found some good stuff. Um, this would have been a better pit bin pickup at like $1.50. But I'm still pretty happy. I'm going to charge $25. It's just the purple's really pretty. It's ribbed. It has um, this kind of detail on the sleeves and i think large is borderline i'm i'm hearing that lauren um ralph lauren is good like extra large and above but i think large is still a decent solid size and it's cotton and modal and when i put modal in the title i uh i do get some some stuff so yeah so this is i just think it's really cute really really cute <coughs> sorry i still have some residual cough i'm doing good for hours and hours at a time and then when I talk, though, it just, it does that. Okay, these are Levi's. And I, you know, I'm not very good at my Levi's, but I do know that anything loose, anything baggy, so the cargo loose is good. These would have been $4.50, and these are all there. I checked. Um, you know, they're really nice, really nice style there. Um, and what was the size on these babies? These are... A 32 36 so they are tall um, you know as long as they measure out and they don't seem to have been hemmed so anything long or tall in men's or women's um, I do really well whereas I'm five foot tall and petites I you know I just struggle I would think that there would be as many petite people as tall people but maybe the petite clothing is easier to find you know I have no idea why we get left out it's horrible but anyway tall people I have you covered so I'm going to put like 30 plus shipping on those. <coughs> now a new rack rolled out when I was there because I was only there one hour this week. Like, and, and this is one of my best places and I just could not get there with the weather, with my cold. And um, so a new thing rolled out and it was at six o'clock at night by then because I, you know, I, I would have stayed longer, but they were closing. And so they had all of these nice Ariat jeans. I do really well with Ariat jeans. And, you know, and I'm only paying $4.50. They're kind of like a boot cut or a wide leg. Um, relaxed boot is what they're called. And they're a 33, 38. So, again, I need to make sure these measure out. But that's a great size. You know, tall is great. And so um, there was a guy there. And, you know, you never know who the resellers are. But when the new one rolled out, you know, I was real close. I was in the jackets. And then that's kind of where they put all these new racks. So I walked over quick, walk Fran, you know, I'm not too proud, you know, I got to get my inventory. So um, I was grabbing, you know, because I, I know Ariat when I see it. And so there were four pair though, and I just couldn't get them out of my hands enough and put them in my cart fast enough. So he got one, but that's all right. I'll share. Um, anyway, so 33, 36. So... And they all look really, really good. Um, nice boot cut. <coughs> all right. And this, I think these are all the same person had owned them. So, yeah, 33, 38, actually. And then I'm sure they'll measure a tiny bit shorter like they always do. But but these are the M2s, and they're a relaxed boot cut. So I thought that was great. Um, I'm going to start these at, like, 
28 to 35. I, I haven't really looked because of the tall factor in that particular brand. I have a lot of 32s and 33s, but that's supposed to be like a 38 length. So I'm going to check and see what I can get for those. It might be more than that. And then this is just an L.L. Bean, large, tall, but it's just a really nice denim button front, you know, jean shirt. And I do so good. I don't care if it's Levi's, even in Wrangler, I'll pick up the, just the denim, denim button front shirts. I just do really good and the more distressed, the better, but this one looks good. And so I'm going to start this at like 22. I know I could start it at 30 and come down, but I want it sold. Um, I'll look it up to be sure. It's not vintage. It's just cotton. So anyway, I think 22. I want to get this stuff turned around. All right. One more. <laughs> so this is um, just like a, like a bomber jacket type thing. And I looked up the style number. I think I saved it in my drafts. I won't take the time to go there, but here is the here is the tag. I know it's hard because it's probably backwards, right? Um, it's a jacket, man's lightweight with removable liner, and um, it's Ashland Sales and Services. So if you don't know how to look up this military stuff proper brand and there's a lot of normal companies who make normal pants who actually make some of this military stuff so a lot of times it'll say proper here like proper pants um with a double p on it but this one the contractor is ashland and if you do ashland you know blue navy coat or whatever and then let alone these numbers work at least on google the numbers work and then you can um oh where are the numbers on this one i saw it but either way um, I was sure it had the, oh, it's up here. Here we go. I was like, I know it had the size and stuff. Here we go. So it's under the liner. So this one is DSCP and 40S, which is a smaller size. I mean, I would love a 42, 44. That would be better. But anyway, I looked and I felt like it held. And um, I asked her when I went up, I'm like, you know, how much is this one? Because they They'll charge anywhere from $7.50 to $10 on jackets. And she said, well, let's just make that an adult top. And I'm like, okay, that works for me. So this was only $3.75. <coughs> so I felt like I really got a good deal there. And then, oh yeah, this is Cavu. Um, this is a great outdoors brand. I've been experimenting with it. I haven't been, I've only got two or three pieces in my store and it's been pretty slow for me. I might just still be overcharging, but I've heard several people even in the last few weeks talk about that you pick up Cavu. Now I know that might be better in jackets and everything else, but this is a nice size large and it's a really nice, um, kind of gray. I think it's just cotton. Let me see here. Um, I'm trying to find it here. I think it's just plain old cotton. Yep, 100% cotton, but it's really nice with pockets. So I'm going to start this at like 18, and I'm going to use that word again that I've talked about before called GORP Core, G-O-R-P, and then Core. And um, I've sold at least several things that I've used that word on. It doesn't mean that the hiking pants and the other kind of outdoor hiking nylon, it doesn't mean that that's what sold it, but um, it can't hurt for sure. So um, let me see here. So then on, so that was Friday night. So I went to the regular Goodwill. Then we went and had supper with family. Then we went and went to bed. We were in bed by, I want to say 10, 1030 asleep. Like I was asleep. I did my Duolingo and all of that and fell asleep. And then we were up at 415 and got ready, left town by 530, took our doggy because it's cool enough. And we went to Denver, which was two more hours of a trip. And, you know, I was thinking the whole time, like, you know, we only have not even one full day at the bins, but kind of like an eight hour day. Should we even be doing this? You know, this is crazy. Um, we stopped at Chick-fil-A on the way and I got a frosted lemonade and breakfast and just to kind of turn it into a fun day. Pardon me, guys. Just in case it did not, you know, turn out really, really well. I thought, you know, at least we're having a day off. 
And um, we got up there about 8.30. Traffic wasn't bad, but there was some ice on the roads. But we got there about 8.30. And we stayed until, let's see, what time was this payment? This payment was at 2.42 in the afternoon. And then about a half hour later, I finished up my last bag. My husband was loading all of this. I finished up my last bag, paid $16 for that one. And then we got on our way. And, well, we went and had um, lunch at Tokyo Joe's, which we really like. So let's go through what I got at the bins. Um, I never can remember till I get at home and look how much consignment I picked versus how much eBay. The consignment, um, you know, I don't get paid for as quickly, even though I try to take it right away. But it gives me like a week off from having to travel to Denver when some of this consignment stuff starts to sell because I'll have a two or $300 credit at this consignment store in Wyoming where I go. So it does still help me. Um, if it ever didn't work out that I could go there, I'd figure something else out. Here's my second receipt for $16.43. So yeah, the two of them, so about $117 total. All right, so here's what I got. We're going to go fast and furious. I got six trash bags, and, and obviously it was however many pounds um, at $1.69. So um, I'd say like, what, 70 pounds? This is an original Panama Jack straw hat. These both look really good on my husband. So, um, you know, and he needs like a summer hiking hat. So we're going to, um, I'm going to look these up on eBay and maybe sell one of them if they're worth it. This is a large, or a medium, it's actually a medium, but he tried it on at the bins. This one is an outdoor research. So I'd like to sell this one, but it does have a lot of this fade wear here. So I'll look into it, see what it would have been, see if it's worth it. If not, he'll keep them. So I'm going to put those in the eBay pile at first. Then I got this. This is just for my niece. This is crazy, but on her birthday, I'll... Uh, surprise her with it she's um seven going on eight and she will think this is hilarious so i got that <laughs> all right this is a rails it did it just you know my husband grabbed this because i told him get all the flannels and then i'll look at them and then i put 90 percent back which was i'm sure frustrating to him but it's a small i don't like a small, but it was at the bins. It's really lightweight, less than a dollar, and it's rails. So I'm going to try to start this at like 16, 17. I'll check what their flannels are doing. It's really pretty, very pretty purple pink. I'm going to do that on eBay. All right, where are we here? Oh, yeah. This is just a really lightweight um, shirt for summer coming up. It's just Wild Fable. Sorry, I guess you're not getting the gist of what anything is. <coughs> so it's just a real cute cute kind of floral, maybe boho, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably just consign this. It is a size large, you know, I might look. And um, I'm really needing more eBay stuff than I do consignment, especially buying ahead. And I wouldn't be able to donate this till another month or so to them. So I might just look at, I know Wild Fable, people say that it can actually do pretty good on eBay. I'm going to check that out. I mean, I paid less than a dollar for that. These are cool, um, you know, cool as in cool. They're size six. These are the shorts that I normally wear, so part of me wants to keep them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sell them. I just can't keep everything. <coughs> and uh, so, yeah, just great nylon shorts. And I normally get around 20 for these. I mean, it's the middle of winter. But I don't want to reduce my shorts too much because then I won't have enough for summer. So I'm going to try to hold out on those. I guess maybe I would take 17. I paid less than a buck for those. Um, this is Cosmic Blue Love. Um, I have not checked out the brand. I think this is going to be consignment. It's just a real lightweight piece coming up. I'm trying to get all of my spring and summer consignment kind of bought up while I'm already there and finding cute pieces. And this is, you know, cap sleeve. So I'm going to put this in the consignment. Um, I have, hopefully I got some more winter stuff for consignment here. And then I have one bag of 25 up there and then I'm out of anything winterish. And so I, I'm hoping that they say they'll start taking spring because then I have like 
six or seven tubs in my closet, some spring, some summer, that I've been saving. Um, I'm just trying not to put all my cash flow toward future things. Otherwise, it's common sense. I'd be buying shorts all year round and just putting those away either for eBay or for the consignment. But that gets to take a lot of money out of my paycheck each week if I'm spending $100 extra on stuff I'm not going to list for six months or sell for six months. So I try to really be careful about that even though that's what my heart says is be smart. You know, you're going to be really thankful in two or three months. But that $100 a week still really adds up in buying a bunch of stuff that's not even going to be sellable for a while. Now, these are just Columbia shorts. They are a 36-32. Um, but that one consignment store that I sell at in Wyoming, they just are in love with Columbia. So they'll put like 10 bucks or more on this. So I'll get five. So, you know, by the time I sell them on eBay and get my percentage and pay everything else, I'm just going to consign these because they love them some Columbia. I don't know why, but it must do good with the young, young teen, not teenagers, but they're like college age kids there. And that's who they market to for the most part. And they just have a huge business. And, um, anyway, these are just natural reflections. They're just some shorts. I'm just going to throw these in the consignment. They're real lightweight, brand new. Um, I would have paid, let me weigh this here. I'm trying to just, uh, make sure that I know how much I'm paying for things too. Cause it's a, they only charge me $1.69 a pound, even on just the one single bag. I thought it was $1.89. So I don't know, maybe they have a sale going on. I have no idea at the bins, but Anyway, so at $1.69, if this weighs 7 pounds, so it's not quite half of a pound, but anyway, so I'm paying under a dollar, and then they'll put, you know, 4 or 5, so I'll just probably double my money on a, on a low-end brand like this. But that's okay, that really adds up. This is another Columbia. And I do okay with Columbia on eBay, like, you know, if I have a real substantial piece or something, but just a shirt like this, I, for some reason, would just struggle to get even $12. Like, I just can't pull it off. I don't know why. And this is just a size small, but at the consignment place, this will do real well for me, and it's really light. Okay. This is Urban Pipeline um, outfitters or whatever, urban pipeline, but it's linen. It's like a linen blend. So I'm going to go ahead and it's a little bit Hawaiian motif. So I'm going to put these on eBay. I'm going to go ahead and try, see if I can get 15, you know, I would have paid. These are 15 ounces. So I would have paid like a dollar 69 for these. So if I can even get 15, I'll be happy with that. <laughs> All right, these are and one. Now, I do actually pretty good with these in the sense of if I try to only get, you know, like 12 or 13. If I try to get 18 on a pair of and one basketball pants and I don't do well, but these are a nice size. These are a 2XL. So, I mean, I'm going to put these on eBay. I already have like in my sell similar, you know, in my ended listings. I do a lot of basketball shorts, so I can list this in just a few minutes, um, photos and all, and I'm going to try to get like 13. So when you're paying even, you know, $1.69 and you can get 13, that's, that's okay. I don't like to aim there, but even with staying there eight hours and I did not leave, like I didn't leave the building. I am working hard. I'm trying to pull stuff. It was packed out. Boy, let me tell you, um, I told my son, well, I'm going on a Saturday because it's never busy because it seems like a lot of the people there go to the flea market on Saturdays and other things, but it is cold. Denver's been very cold. I'm assuming Mile High Flea Market might be closed. I haven't even checked, but man, there were so many people, more people than I think I've ever seen there on this Saturday when we decide to drive up and only have eight hours to find stuff. I mean, it's always competitive like any bins, but this was crazy, and for a while, they were only bringing out two rows of four each of the blue bins. And normally, they have another row of three or four over here. So that would be four extra. And for like 
three or four rotations, they didn't bring out this side thing. So I don't know if they didn't have enough inventory, enough staff, what was going on. Then they started to bring out more, but it still was like I had to fight for everything I got. Not in a bad way, but, you know, just really grab fast. My husband had to grab fast. And then I had to sort a bunch of junk because I, you know, I didn't feel like I had time to explain to him what I wanted. He didn't have time to stand there because it's all getting snatched up. Normally, I do grab anyway, but I like to kind of, you know, find the brand and then at least throw it in. Then I'll check the condition and stuff later, but there just wasn't time. Um, this is Sportif. I do actually really good in the convertible pants with these. The brand itself is kind of iffy, like in a shirt. I don't know that I'd buy it, but I do really good on these zipper pants. I buy any of these zipper pants that I can get my hands on. REI, Columbia, you know, as long as they're in decent shape. And these are the nice wide legs. So, um, yeah, I would have paid, you know, almost two bucks for those. So, well, 12 ounces actually. So, under $1.25. So, I'm going to eBay those. These are brand new tags. Um, this is Rampage brand. I'm just going to consign these um, probably in the spring, you know, or as soon as they let me. So um, that's what that is. <coughs> this was great. My husband found this outdoor research with the tags. It made me feel like it wasn't a total wasted trip because, you know, after a while we were like, gee, we're not getting anything of any substantialness at all. This is size 10. They're a nice green. I'm going to definitely eBay these things. So I was thrilled with that. Happy, happy makes. It's one of the few things I got where I feel like, you know, it was actually a really good find. Um, this is a Kira Chicago. Toward the end, I mean, this is so lightweight. Um, I'm going to probably just consign this. I think I'll look it up on eBay just to be sure that a Kira Chicago isn't anything, but I don't believe it is. And then this, too, I just, my phone was dying toward the end. This is a bespoke tie. I forgot if that's the brand or if bespoke is the type. So, anyway, I'm going to see if this is even real or what. If not, I'll just consign it, but I'm going to look it up. I just figured that I would consign it, so I threw it in there. All right, this is, this is another good find. Vuori, or however you say it. So I think these are good. They're a nice camo. I'm thinking I've heard this brand is doing really, really good right now, so I'm excited. Um, technically, they're lined. I don't know if these are swim trunks or not. I'll have to figure that out. I'll look up the, the number. I mean, technically, yeah, these, I mean, I'm thinking the style is kind of swim trunky-ish. But, so I don't know how the swim trunks do in that brand, but either way, it's a good pickup, I think. This is a Stitch Fix. It's um, Fortune and Ivy. It's just kind of a really cute tank top for when summer comes and I can consign it. So I'm just going to consign that. Real, real lightweight stuff to consign. And it's new a tag, so you end up getting a decent amount. This is She and Sky. It is a shirt. And again, it's a, well, I guess it's not Stitch Fix, but it's Sheen Sky. I don't know my brands on that. It's a real cute bell sleeve sweater. So I don't know anything about this. It's a small though, so I'm just going to consign it. I'm sure I could get some money on eBay. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what that is. Oh, there's my trash. Couldn't figure out my trash. All right, bag number two, guys. <coughs> What did I get here? I forget. By the time I get home and it's been, you know, two days on the road and stuff, I totally forget. Um, okay, this is just a Polo Ralph Lauren, and I am trying to get my store built up because this is kind of like a waffle weave thermal, and um, I think it's a woman's. I'm going to look, but, you know, it seems like it's just like a really nice women's hoodie thermal, and um, I do really good with waffle weave thermal type stuff, and it's a small. So, yeah, just a nice black black hooded with the kangaroo pocket so I'm happy with that I'm going to eBay that thing all right this is tipsy L's not near as good of a find as it used to be I am going to start um trying because garage sale season is so crazy and then I go right into you know trying to source for 
eBay for the winter, and that's if I don't do any Amazon this year, which I am planning on doing. I really miss that side of the business where, you know, I could go buy a lot at once, ship it off, and then once that money starts coming in, you know, it's just a little bit different feel than eBay, and I, I do miss it, so I'm hoping I can do that, and then I can also arbitrage online for a lot of that. I used to do that. Then I'm not traveling quite so much once I get that income built up. So we'll see what happens. This is an extra small, but I'm going to put this away and um, start saving some inventory. I'll list this in like August. I know I could list it now, and I might, but um, you know, I'm just trying to get some stuff ahead. These are ski goggles. I'm going to see if my brother wants these. If not, I'm going to consign them because they'll do good. This, I thought, you know, for consignment, I better start getting some Easter dresses. I know I could do the same for eBay, too. I could get, like, you know, a thousand Easter dresses, but this is really, really cute. Um, I don't know my children's brands at all. I, it's just something I've never really studied. I know that if you see the the vintage dresses and they make a full circle. I've sold those before. I've sold one for like $100, but I still don't really know them. This is just Jillian's closet, but I'm going to get this to the um, consignment for Easter. These are Hodgman Wade Light, and um, the feet are very, very, very clean. They're in really good condition. So I think that's good. And um, they're a large. So um, I don't know what these weighed about. Let me see here. I'll tell you. But around two to three pounds. Let me see here. They say um, one pound, 11 ounces. So even for this. Um, it's pretty lightweight, so we would have paid under two bucks for this, and um, I think in a large size, I can get 30 for that. <coughs> okay, what do we got here? This is Free Kisses and XL. Again, I'm just trying to get a bunch of stuff for summer, and that would have cost me, you know, like 50 cents. I'm trying to pick stuff up when I see it. You know, because right now on that, I'm not going to get any money out of that for three months. So I am buying it way ahead. I found two pair of Beta brand together. This is a medium. They're real cute. They have the, they are tapered ankle, which I know is kind of not in style right now. And they have the zippers on the ankles. So I'll see how these are doing. I just picked them up. I knew Beta brand I can get at least 12 or 15. Um, I'm hoping for more, but they are a medium also. And I got the second pair. This pair, I'm going to have to actually sell them together because this pair, um, you know, it's kind of in the middle there. Like the medium isn't as clear. So unless I can find it on another label, um, I'll just sell them together. They were right next together and they seem to be the same size. So anyway, same thing, zipper ankles. So yeah. Those aren't lightweight either. Those are a nice thick material. So I'm sure I paid two bucks a piece for those. This bra is a bally. I'm waiting to hear from my consignment girl who I pick up all the bras for, like if she even wants bally. I'm just kind of learning what she wants. But it was clean, and there is no underwire. So I just got it for, um, you know, it cost me a quarter, so I'll just throw it in as a bonus. Now, this is Ann Taylor. Um, you know, not loft or anything, but Ann Taylor. It's a lined jacket, size 14. It's really, really cute. And I've heard some people saying that in more substantial pieces with Ann Taylor itself, and if it's a larger size, that you can do really good. So um, I probably took a $2 chance on this, but I'm going to try to start this at 25 and see if I can get that. I don't want things that are going to sit, and with Ann Taylor Loft and Ann Taylor whatever, I don't do very well at all. So that's just a shot in the dark. I'm just going to see what happens. These are just PacSun swim trunks, um, you know, that season is coming, I think as of, you know, March, I mean, people start going on cruises and stuff, so I'm going to put these actually on eBay and try to get like $11 plus shipping, I don't know if I will, but that's what I want to start to try to find out, but they didn't cost me anything, if I end up consigning them, that's fine, this is Nike Golf, a 34, just nice, cute, everyday golf shorts, I'm going to throw these up on eBay, and uh, do that. I guess I needed more tubs for my consignment. 
I looked these up, and these Alfani actually have a halfway decent sell-through. Um, brand new with tags, and I looked up the size and everything. So I'm going to try to get 20 for these plus shipping, and I would have paid 2 bucks. This I went back and forth on. It's um, Marshall Fields for men, and it just has the look. I mean, it has the grandpa sweater cardigan look, you know, and um, it doesn't have the pockets in the front, but, man, it's still just geometric. The sell-through rate on these in particular is, like, 50%, you know, like 50% um, sold to whatever is up. But I just think this has the look, and this is one of the nicer, like this is the best one of the Y2K 1980 thing. So I still think I can get 20 bucks for that. I'm just going based on style more than brand, although the brand is searched some and people want it. These are Quicksilver Amphibian. I actually do okay on this, and these are very cheap and lightweight for me to buy. So I think I can get about 12 to 15 for these plus shipping. I just went to the bins. I don't really go to the bins to get bread and butter. That's not my aim when I go. But, um, you know, and I think I was being, you know, probably too picky because, you know, but I just... I still have to drive it home. I still drove up there. So I would like to have gotten a lot of higher end stuff like I did. I feel like I did better at the regular um, Goodwill before I went. And so I had contemplated just doing regular thrifts instead of the bins at all that day since I had limited time. But these are great. The, the sell through rate on most of this is great. It's just a matter of how much I'm going to get. Um, this is Duluth Trading, but it's a big 2XL or a nice size. Um, Duluth trading, you know, is hit or miss. Now, if I tried to get 25 for this, it would be sitting. But <coughs> I've become willing to get like 15 plus shipping, and so this will go pretty quickly. <coughs> I think that cleaner they use on them is bothering me again, but it's all good. <sighs> Yesterday was two weeks, so I'm ready for this stuff to be gone. This is just a Soma bra. Um, it's a nice pink. I checked the underwire, so I'm going to consign that to my consignment lady. She'll be happy. I don't think I got her too many bras, but I'm getting a good head start. These are Van Heusen Studio shorts, and they are cargo. And so I'm just going to probably consign these. I'm going to look them up, but I knew that I needed some stuff to consign so I might end up putting them on eBay it, when summer is really in full swing I can get 12 to 15 on almost any brand of shorts but right now I'm not sure those are new with tags though however too so who knows okay now this there's money dropping out I knew it when I put this in there I'll show you let me see how much money I made okay so I saw the I saw this on the back, you know, laying in the bin, so I just grabbed it. And then um, I didn't hear anything falling out until I went to put it um, from my picking box or my picking tub down into the trash bag and deciding that I wanted to keep it. So I don't know where the money's coming from. I have no idea. I don't see any more. So, so far, the take is 36 cents. I mean, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not too proud. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling any more money. I think that's it, guys, but it does have a lot of zippers. So, let's see here. Nope. Boo-hoo, that's it. No dollar bills that I see. But anyway, um, I do not know my names on my Lululemon whatsoever. I don't know what they are. Um, but this is a good size. It's a size 12. And, um, you know, it, it has the tag, which is very helpful. And so I'll go in and see if I can figure it out. It says it's polyester filled and then nylon lycra. So, yeah, there's a name for every single jacket. So I'll figure this out. So I'm hoping at least 25, maybe 50. So that was a halfway decent find. I'm happy with that. Here's another Easter dress I'm just going to consign. Um, this is Little Angels by U.S. Angels. It's just like a cute little Easter dress, but I paid, you know, under a dollar for this, and I should get, you know, I hope 
three or four profit by the time I get my payout. This is also that same style as that Wild Fable was. This is Avicii and it's medium. And it's just kind of like, a, it's not really quite a half top, but it's just a real short, you know, fit at the waist top. So I'll double check the brand before I put it in the consignment pile, but I don't think it's anything. I think that's going to go to consignment. So I've been getting less and less jeans at the bins because I get a $4.50 price there. And so if I do get them, I'm at least picky. And this is a pair of Carhartts, but they're the cargo Carhartts. And they're kind of the wider leg, which is good. And they are a 34, 34 dungaree fit. So they, they have the length too, kind of like a tall. So, um, and they seem to be, when I was looking them over, really, really clean. So yeah, I'm going to try to get 30 for these. I, you know, if I end up with 25, that's great, but I'm going to try to get 30 plus shipping. That's the only reason I bought them. You can tell at the bins that I'm not doing near as many jeans as I used to. I used to go in and my bill was like $500 even at the bins and it was fine. It all sold. It was good, but uh, yeah, I just, it was just heavy. And, you know, I'd rather get stuff like this and consign it and find as much like cargo shorts and the lightweight REI pants in the end because I'm paying so little, it, it works out. This is another brand new tag thing I'm just going to consign. And they'll probably, you know, put like $8 on this. And so I'll end up with four and I paid about a dollar. So yeah, I'm not getting rich on this stuff, but it definitely does give me the money. And then I can go in there and even though their stuff is higher priced, I can get a lot of Patagonia, a lot of North Face, a lot of um, tennis skirts and things. And then there always are some brands that they just, they don't have time for. They put so much clothing out in that place that, um, just having that little bit of credit means that I can buy something for four or five dollars and then I get, you know, some credit off of it. And so it makes me able to buy more. This is just a really cute stocking, brand new with tags. There's a kaching. Um, it's Arctic holiday. So I'm going to use this as a gift or something next year. I'm trying to get ahead on that too. Um, this year, you know, I, I did okay, but I did not have time to shop all throughout the year for people like I normally do. So it was a little bit stressful. It's just time wise. It was stressful money wise a little bit. Um, you know, everybody had a list and none of our family wants like super extravagant stuff anyway, but I just would have liked to have gone, you know, enjoyed it more really not even bought anything different than I did. Just enjoyed it more. Polo Ralph Lauren nice blue pair of pants. Um, where are we at? These are a 36, 32 and they are the classic fit. So I look these over really well. Um, you know, I'll probably just take 25. I got to see like the blue They're They're not tapered. They're more straight, but they're also not the wide or the boot cut. That's kind of in, in style right now. Here's another bra. This is just a maiden form. So um, hopefully my lady does okay on the brand there. This is called Unique Spectrum. I have not even looked up the brand. It was just so lightweight that I thought I'd either consign it, but I'll do a quick double check, make sure the brand isn't anything. I don't think it is. <coughs> Here's another bra. This is a maiden form that I'm buying to consign. And if she doesn't want any of those brands, I'll take them to the actual consignment store. That's why I thought for a quarter, I'll just go ahead and get most of them. Um, this is an H and M, but it's a real tribal type pantsuit type thing. So I'm going to look it up first because it's definitely got the style to it that people want. I just don't know, you know, how, uh, how much I can get for it. If it's not worth my time, I'll consign it. It's a size US 10. But yeah, it's just darling. I mean, I wish I could wear tall people stuff like this. I would so wear that. All right, these are a Talbot size 12. So Talbots in bigger sizes, um, you know, can do really good. And it's got the flat pockets. So they're kind of like a, a hiking, gorp core type shorts. And so I'm going to actually put these on eBay and try to get like 12 you know, something like that, plus shipping. These, um, I almost put back, but they're, because they're Old Navy, and they're a 16, 
but they're corduroy overalls and they have they're going really good right now that even in the old navy they're going for like i want to say 30 and especially in a size 16 so i'm going to go ahead and get these listed on ebay i know corduroy is doing really well right now i've heard from other resellers on youtube um this is a delmyra i'm not familiar with this bra brand um, I didn't take the time to look it up because I'll just consign it here, but the, the underwire is good. All right, this is a Tommy Bahama. It's very plain. You're not going to see, you know, anything fancy on the back, but it is 100% um, linen. So I'm going to go ahead and get this listed. I think it'll still do really well. There's those events like a wedding or a something in the summer you know that pe that men are going to where this would be just perfect but they don't want something really huge and bright necessarily um so i'm going to get that listed um so yeah i don't know if i'll get anything i don't know what the linen tommy bahama does um i only buy tommy bahama even silk tommy bahama if it were plain like that i don't think i would have maybe picked it up but linen i think a step i want my goal is for every title in my store two three four thousand items someday when i ever get ahead you know my stuff just sells but if i can ever get a store built up i want people to be reading through my store and just see linen wool you know just all the really substantial fabrics is what i want or or brands this is called sour puss xl i was not familiar with this brand it's a dress and um, they vary on, depending on the motif, but I think I can get at least 20 for this. I'll look on um, Terra Peak. I don't know how to identify this, so it's like, you know, it, it, it's not a character really. So I'll try to take a picture maybe for Google um, Lens and, and see, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'll just look. I, I saw some going upwards of 40, so I might start high, but I'm not worried about it. This is brand new. This is Anthropology, and I forgot my brand here. It's Meadow Rue, which I just love their stuff. So um, it's just a nice white blouse. It's in an XL. Um, otherwise, I would keep it. It's just a tiny bit big for me. Otherwise, I would so keep this. It's, it's too long, you know, like it's, it's that tunic style too long. So I'm going to go ahead and look this up and put it on eBay um <clears throat> i want to say it was just cotton or polyester but it feels really nice it might have nope just a hundred percent let's see body a hundred percent cotton yeah and then some rayon i don't know it's saying a hundred percent cotton and a hundred percent rayon i don't know how that's possible but maybe just this part or something but it's nice it's it feels really nice feels more like rayon than cotton <coughs> Okay, this is another experiment. This is Chico's. You know, if I can narrow down price-wise how to get like 12 to 15 out of bigger size Chico's, then that just makes my day at the bins twice as fast. But it has to flip within 90 days for me or I'm not interested. Um, but I have been reading that Chico's in a bigger size actually flips for quite a few people. I know Kaylee Elaine is saying that. I think... Um, I want to say Jack and Ryan um, on the on you know Jack Valentine. I want to say that he's doing some Chicos or Talbots or something. You know if it has a certain look. This is just a nice open front cardigan. I want to say it had a special fabric too, but don't don't quote me on that. It is the ultimate tee, and just cotton and modal. So cotton and modal is good. That's a good thing. All right. <coughs> this is just a black rain i don't think the brand does very good on ebay because i see it a lot and it seems like i when i did look it up i turned it down but it's just a nice size medium top for consignment and it cost me almost nothing so hopefully my payout on that is at least two to three dollars um when it happens all right this is another new with tags. It's called Halara. These don't have a very good sell through on eBay. It's just probably like a night shirt with a bra, you know, a lined bra in there. Um, it's a size small in ice blue, and so I'm just going to consign that. Hopefully, I'll get some money for that thing. 
it didn't cost me much, that's for sure. A lot of new attack stuff, just very little of, if it would have been all outdoor research, that would have been a great day. So this is Blue Rain in a size 1. Get it correct here. And then it, it's a pantsuit, so it's darling, you know. But I'm just going to consign it. I mean, I might look up just to make sure um, that it's not worth money, but it's in, yeah, it just says size 1. So I'm going to just consign that, baby. All right, what do we have here? These are Patagonia, and it's just a nice tan pair of pants, or shorts, I'm sorry, shorts, men's 2XL, and they're just like the nylon, definitely Gorp Core, nice zipper here. I'm sure there's a name to this style of shorts, so I'm going to look it up, but those are going to go on eBay. Um, I'm surprised. I mean, you know, and if I wait and just put 25 and just refuse to come down, eventually they'd sell, but I'll probably end up taking like 17, something like that. They're not that rare. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. And nice white summer shorts. Um, you know, if I build the store that is all in a certain look, um, then I think you can garner bigger prices. Like if I had just all nylon, REI, Eddie Bauer, and I'm aiming to have a huge percentage of that, but I also have to count my shopping time and my time out of town. And because I live so far away, you know, it's not just my time. It's like time away from my husband, time away from my dog. So I have to ask myself, you know, how can I best build this store and not just be gone all the time? So I do have a wide range of brands and I even have some hard goods if it means that I can get really decent sell through, but my, my store just doesn't look uniform. You know, you're not going to see this really like Poshmark store that's just, um, curated. You're not going to see just this curated store that's all for men or all for women. So these were all in a um, group, and she is missing her buttons, but look how old she is. I mean, yuck. Who even knows? Well, there's like a, I promise it's only a piece of leaf, but ick. I was like, I know I looked at this. There was not a bug on it. Anyway, so she has a tag. I thought these were just homemade things that came in a thing, and I was going to put them back, but this is actually a tag, raggedy. And from 1975, and it's Dakin. So these are Dakin hand puppets. And so I've got these two. I didn't even look them up. They're so lightweight. I know I can get some things. So I'm going to look these up and see. Um, I know that someone must want these. So anyway, I'll tell you what I end up getting eventually. This guy is a decor... I'm not a plush seller, but again, it's another hand puppet. This always freaks me out. I don't like putting my hand up in there. I make my husband do it initially, like in, in shoes, you know, like put your hand in there. I just, I'm afraid there's like something in there, but anyway, something dead in there. But anyway, he's cute. He's a decor. Um, and does he have a year? Um, Pop Belly Panda Hand Puppet. And 1980, so he's he's old. So I just couldn't let them get destroyed. I got them. And then these are three Berenstein Bears. And again, see, these looked homemade to me, so I didn't know, but they all three have tags. So um, I thought these were like a kit that someone did, but they aren't. And these are 1988 by the Berensteins Incorporated. So I'm going to look these up. Maybe they're not worth anything. Maybe they're more common than I think, but I paid a dollar total. And if not, I've got some kids like my niece that will love these and I'll play games with her on these or whatever. You know, we could each have our own bear or whatever. <coughs> now these two were in the exact same. This all came in one like plastic bag at the bins. These do not have any tags, but they are also, you know, hand puppets. You can tell. This one really freaks me out because there's like styrofoam up in there. But anyway, they are cute. And so I might just sell them as vintage hand puppets. But anyway, all of this all together cost me around a dollar, a dollar something. So yeah, I, I might Google Lindsay's, see if these used to have tags. 
um, since the other ones did, but these might actually be homemade. I do not know. Come back here. All right. So yeah, I just couldn't resist. Thrifting has to be fun for me. I am in this for a business and I do a lot of boring things. I mean, I sell on Amazon sometimes and just do the same repetitive, you know, one item over and over and, and it, it's very boring, but if the money's there, I will do it. However, I like to stick and still have some, you know, fun, which is the hunt, you know, just to see what weird stuff you come up with. This is maiden form. It's the bra, black bra for my consignment lady. This is a marmot. You know, you can tell I'm being very picky on my brands and that hurts me. That means that I spent, you know, four hours round trip drive time from seeing my family. It's, you know, six hours if you count all the way to the bins and back. But we, we were going to see my family too. So I kind of am trying to make myself feel better. But Basically, six hours round trip of driving and then eight hours at the bins. And, you know, I didn't get that much. That's how picky I'm being. This is a marmot. Um, it's like a lightweight. And it says large, but I'm thinking that's a, that's definitely a child's large. It's not that big. So, a boy, a boy's large. I'm going to put that on eBay. This is, um... What is the brand on here? This is a hot topic. I think I'll end up consigning this. I don't know how a hot topic um, swimsuit top does, but it does have skulls and like purple flowers. And so I thought it was really cute. And it is a bigger size. It's a size two, whatever that is, in hot topic. So I'm going to look this up before I consign it. And then if it's not, I'll just stick it in the consignment box. These I just got. I'm going to either consign these or save them as a gift. Um, they're really cute for a little girl's gift. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is Lulu's. And so it's brand new. And it is a large. And it's just a pair of pants. So I don't know what these will go for, but they're the nice wide leg style and they're lined you know they have a real nice lining so I'm gonna see what these are going for but I thought I couldn't go wrong especially with consignment um I'm trying to see what fabric on the outside these are oh there it is oh no that's not it that's that tag I don't know oh yeah here it is I'm like I hope it has an inside tag these are Rayon. So rayon pants with a side zip. I think I can get at least 20, 25, but I'm going to try to look up this pattern and see. I think that's a pretty cool find. Let's see what this is. I had forgotten totally about those. I've forgotten about most of this stuff and it's only been last night. Okay, this is Coldwater Creek 3X. They're just, you know, they're nicer green than what the screen is showing, and they're nice wide leg. So I know the wide leg is kind of in style. So I'm just testing some of this, and these, um, these are a linen blend, and that's also why I picked them up. So it's a little bit more substantial piece, feels really good, plus a larger size. So I'm hoping to, you know, get 18 plus shipping. We'll see. And then this brand I've sold before. One of the most beautiful pieces I've ever had was in this brand. Now, this isn't that. This is pretty. It's called Colleen. It's like a skirt brand. And you can just see it. I didn't know this was Colleen, but I knew it was beautiful. And the other piece, I can't even describe it. It just... Oh, it was beautiful. Um, I sold that on Etsy like two or three years ago. But I was so happy to see this brand because I know it has a following. And, um, you know, it just, it just has different, a different look to it. I don't know what fabric this is. It feels just like a cotton, if it even has that. But anyway, it's a nice size, large maxi skirt. So I'm going to put like 35 or 40, I think. Um, my last one went for $80, uh, in that brand, but it was just gorgeous. Um, I could just have all of that brand. Don't you wish sometimes that, you know, and most people like that was left in the bins. I wasn't just the first one to see that. 
it just looks like a normal kind of cotton skirt if you're not watching and um, boy if I could just find where the supply of that thing is okay this is a Scala it is gorgeous I would wear this on Christmas if it were my size like I would once a year you know like wear this shiny 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 stuff I tested the zipper it looks good um, it's just gorgeous it's like a a party dress it's kind of like a you know kind of a short dress I mean maybe every see I can't tell because everything on me is like to the ankle but this is like um, under my knee so this would be above the knee on a normal human um, this says an XL but of course I'm gonna measure and say you know fit small because this does not fit I mean I can't wear this and I normally wear larges and there's no way I could fit in this so I'm thinking it fits more like a medium but it's gorgeous you know I'm just gonna sell it at it as is I paid probably three or three fifty for it I'm gonna double check but I never promise anybody that the beads or the sequins are all there I just put you know checked and you know no huge amount of missing sequins but maybe missing a few I'm real um conservative on listing these things so that I don't get a return I just I kind of under um, undersell it and then I do really well so I'm thinking I can get like 35 for that um, I know the holidays are over which is sad but um, but it sure is gorgeous oh I love that blue it's just gorgeous all right this is a miss me and it's just kind of like a um, romp around dress um, you know summer dress so I'm just probably gonna consign this I might check it out on eBay see you know for this green because um, I know Miss Me's popular <coughs> um, it is a size small so see you know small just sits on eBay for me there are exceptions but I'll probably just consign this um, Miss Me on the jeans they mark the jeans at $25 on Miss Me jeans at this consignment store <coughs> so I'm assuming they'll mark those up oh sorry guys <coughs> I seriously have not been coughing that much until I got out this clothing <coughs> so I thought this was really good these are made well maternity skinny in a 33 <coughs> they are tapered <coughs> but I think I'll do okay on these I think I'll get about 28 to 30 on those. Whew, good thing we're getting done, guys. <laughs> All right. <Whew. coughs> Goodness. Ugh, I thought I was done with that. I know people are getting sick of hearing me cough. Ugh. I found this twice this week. The first time it was at the regular Goodwill on the day that I spent the $46 and I didn't pick it up because I just didn't know if it you know had it this is little donkey Andy and it's just a lot of nylon like gorp core like um, hiking and stuff and this was a pair of pants if this does well and it's still there you know I should have gotten it but I was going to be paying 450 to try out this brand rather than like less than a dollar <coughs> and the comps aren't really good I mean <coughs> I'll get this sold because it's a larger size it's like a where are we at here it's an XL so I will get these sold for like 12 or 15 but I didn't want to pay 450 and dry it <coughs> all right oh goodness goodness we're almost done guys all right this is just eyeshadow you know an eyeshadow brand but it has this it doesn't really have the tags but it has that I'm just gonna consign it it cost me almost nothing so if I can get two bucks in consignment cash out of that that'll be good same with this one I keep seeing this and I keep I know there's a gypsy something in the title and that's the one you're supposed to be looking for this is band of of um, band of gypsies BOG collective I'll double check but I keep finding things that say gypsies on them and I look them up because I know there's that one thing you're supposed to be looking for and it never is it so but I don't think this is it but so I'm gonna probably just consign this but I am gonna double check make sure it's not that gypsy something I can't seem to get the name down this is banana republic and it's a six but it's just a real pretty like summer um, flowy kind of uneven edged um, handkerchief edge um, dress 
and I thought this would do really, really good for consignment. I will check first um, and make sure that, you know, it isn't worth anything. I think it's just a normal cotton. I'm looking for the, looking for the thing here. It's a size six, like I said, and it's just, I think it's just polyester. Yep, just polyester lined. So I'll double check, make sure that I can't get like 15 out of this. Then I would put it on eBay. Um, but it's a size six. I think it'll be a little slow moving. So I'm probably not going to end up doing that. Whereas in this consignment store, it's in a college town and, you know, with a lot of young women and um, young men too, but young women. And so um, there are a lot of people who wear size sixes um, who go in there. That's a very popular size. Okay, this is a small Nike. They're just orange. They have the drawstrings. They're the joggers. Um, here, I can list these things in seconds flat because I have Nike joggers. I have Aeropostale joggers. I have, so when I find a pair of joggers, even though I know even on these, I mean, I'll be lucky to get 15 plus shipping. I'll probably end up taking 10 to 12 when you're paying, um, a dollar 89 cause it's under, it's 14 ounces. So when I'm paying a, just a really low amount and then I know I can list fast, then I am trying to get just a store full of this. I hate the $12 sales with a passion, but because of how quick I can list them and find them, you know, I can source this all day long. Um, then you just can't deny it. And the joggers sell really fast. I mean, joggers are in right now. So I'm half tempted just to go on a, like a joggers, um, shopping tour and just stop and just, even if I'm paying three fifty, just buy all the joggers and just get my store going. They are so popular. <coughs> okay. This is free people and it's a nice olive green and it just has a real gorgeous, um, look to it all not quite military but maybe I could call it that because it's olive green and it has all this metal you know it's just really pretty and it's like a uh it has tapered ankles you know I'm not that good with my styles that's the problem but um it's like a cargo is the word I'm looking for and it's gorgeous oh it's it's almost like parachute pants almost only not that fabric so I don't know if I should use that or not I'm gonna look up the RN number and try to have somebody who actually you know made these tell me what these are but those are gonna go on eBay unless they end up not worth anything <coughs> I'm not looking forward to listing those because you know they're gonna be all over the place the fabrics real loosey-goosey <coughs> This was a good Vince find, Eileen Fisher. I found two pieces right next to each other. The other one had stains, just I knew I wouldn't get it out. Um, it was like grease stains on the front. And, you know, I could have soaked it, but it would have been a full-time job. This is really cute. It's a um, size, large, just hanging cardigan type, type sweater. I know I'm short, guys, so you can't really see the full effect. Um, and I think it's a wool blend or a cashmere blend. Let's see. It is, oh no, I'm wrong. Viscose and spandex. So it's viscose. It's not cashmere or anything, but still it's just a real basic piece, but, um, I'll look up, try to find the RN number real quickly, but I'm thinking 50. And then if I don't get it, you know, I'll come down, but I'm going to start that at 50 large, large is a halfway decent size. So I found this. It's a round one game card. I have no clue if anything's on it, but I'm going to find out. It was just laying in the bin. This is a Toad and Company shorts. I love that brand. It's really cute. I'm just going to put these on eBay. I don't think I'll get a fortune, but they are a size 12, and I think they're just cotton. Um, no, they're tinsel. They're tinsel stretch. Cotton tinsel stretch. So that's not bad. That, that helps. I think people like tinsel. They like that feel to it. Alrighty, this is just a, um, I think a, uh, consignment. This is called Radio Fiji and it's called Cheeky and it's just a swimsuit. I'm going to double check and look this up. I was in a hurry toward the end and I knew that I wanted this to consign at the very least. And it has these, you know, things on the legs. So I'm going to look this up first. Um, might be consignment, but it cost me less than a buck. 
All right, guys, last bag, and then I got to get listing. I've got three items, three or four items up already. I've got two more in drafts that I just have to double check. So that'll give me like five. And then I want to get at least three or four more items up um, today. So that'll mean photoing, you know, from scratch because those are already photoed and in my drafts. And then I will, um, you know, just edit the rest of the day. And then tomorrow I'll have a shipping video first thing in the morning. This is Torrid. I thought this was kind of more of a substantial piece. It's really cute. And um, it's a size three, which I thought was good. And it just has this lace detail, and I've looked it over. So I'm going to, um, Torrid for a long time didn't do well for me, but I was doing a lot of black dress pants and a lot of just basics, and I wasn't paying attention to how, the size. And so I'm trying to get bigger sizes and a little bit cuter pieces. Because um, I see Torrid all day long, and I don't want to leave it behind. But... Um, you know, I'm not willing to hold on to it for more than 90 days either if I can help it. Um, this is a Knox Rose. This is a large. Um, Kaylee Elaine really swears by this. I am struggling to get it to sell, um, but I'm going to consign this. If it were an extra large or better, I would put it in my eBay store. Um, she will get like $25 for something like this. I am struggling. I, I might get 12 if I was fortunate, and maybe if I get enough of it in my in my um you know store but I'm just gonna probably consign that it must be a brand that people are looking for but uh, I don't know anyway this is just ladies gloves I'm just gonna consign these I am I was gonna say they better be in here all right so I'm proud of myself on this one this is one time I'm proud I think that most people at the bins know as much or more than I do. I'm sure of it because there's just experts in there in every category. But these were left in the bins for a long time. And I saw the little guy and I'm like, ooh. And then I turned him over and I found one first and I was digging in that bin like crazy. Could not find the other one. And then he popped up. Whoop, there he goes. Um. So, yeah, I am very, very happy. Smart wool gloves. Did not know they exist. Um, I don't know what they're worth. They're genuine leather and nylon and then wool lining. They are a unisex large. So, they seem to be, you know, in good condition. I bet these are really warm. So, yeah, I can't wait to look these up. But these are going to go on eBay. <coughs> All right. Then we have TK Axel. These are a pair of men's jeans. I've done good with this brand before. They have good whiskering on there. And they're a 36-32, so I thought they were a decent size. And they have some good detail there. And they are like a... Um, they're not straight. They're more like a little bit of a boot. So let's see what... Oh, yeah, slim boot. So that's common sense there. So, yeah. I'm going to get those sold. I think 20, maybe 25. Now this I took a chance on. I think it's gorgeous. I was surprised it was Forever 21. I just think it's a gorgeous pattern. And I've been trying to go more, you know, does that have an Aztec feel? Does that have a Southwestern feel? Does that have a Fair Isle? I'm trying to go more with... Um, you know, factors and, and things that some of these people are talking about. And so this is a Forever 21 Men. It's a U.S. large, and I don't think it even has any wool. Maybe it does. But anyway, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to try to get like 35 for that, even though, um, you know, I can't find the tag. Um, it was cut off, so I do not know what fabric this is. But I mean, it could even have some cashmere or something in it, but I'm just going to put that it has, you know, like a real nice soft fabric, fabric from China that is not helpful. But anyway, I mean, I checked it over. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, I'm going to start at least 30, 35, something like that, whatever I said. Okay. We're going on ooh, over an hour. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get done here. Um, this is a Margaritaville um barbecue shirt xl it's just really cute um these you know I, because of the guitars and i couldn't find it on just ebay and i didn't look on terapeak on my phone i didn't have time 
<coughs> I know I can at least consign this. So <clears throat> I went ahead and picked it up, less than a buck, probably paid buck or two at the very most. It's um not even a pound, I don't think. It's uh nine ounces, so yeah, around a dollar or something. And so I'll get this sold. I'm gonna try for 2025, but if not, if I see that the comps aren't there, I'm just gonna consign it. It'll be a good summer shirt. This also is kind of an iffy thing. I'm taking a little chance. This is the Wizard of Oz, and it's the gingham costume. And this one did, like, around Halloween or 90 days ago anyway, it did really well. It was, like, in the 50s. This is an adult, but I can't. all I can do is find adult standard. I can't find you know, tall or medium or whatever. So I'm just going to measure it. Um, or I'm going to look, I mean, on Terapeak a little bit more when I have time to actually sit down. And if this isn't worth listing, you know, near like for costumes, then I will donate it to that consignment closer to like the end, end of summer. And um, they, they have a lot of costumes. So I'm going to check that out. I don't know what I'm going to get on that. This is just a bra. Um... Ellen Tracy. This had a better comp than I thought. It's brown and that was good. So that goes to my consignment customer. This I thought was decent. I have not found an Express Portofino shirt for a long time. I don't know what it's worth with the ladybugs. I think the ladybug pattern is darling. Um, and it is a size medium. And I can see why people love these Portofino shirts. I wasn't as familiar as I should have been with them until recently. And let's see, what are these made out of? This particular one, anyway, is just polyester. So, yeah, I'm going to look up the, the ladybug motif, and I'm assuming that in a medium I can still get, like, 18 or more. But if not, I'll consign this because it's really lightweight. Okay. Now we have another Columbia. These are like, you know, hiking. They've got the belted. I might look on eBay for the belted, you know, because that is more popular. It's a little bit more hiking, kind of like Gramici, only a different fabric. And it says packable right on it. So I might actually put these on eBay, but either way, the consignment store will love it if I give it to them. And the size is good. It's, it's an XL. All right. These are a hard tail, but they're a hard tail forever. Um, and I looked that up and for some reason these go like over 20 something dollars normally, but you know, it does have this in it. And so in the inseam, so I'm just going to try to get like 12. Um, I don't know why people love these, but you know, I'm going to try to just get just a little bit for that. This is another Quicksilver Amphibian, and it is 29, so that's kind of a smaller size, but um, I'm going to probably just consign these, you know, in a 29 on eBay, it's not that I can't get it, but this will sell to some skinny, skinny college kids. All right, this is a Torrid, it's a size 2, and it's just real cute. Kind of a plaid but yet it's it's a you know it's a polyester fabric or something it's heavy so i'm trying to see what this ended up to be as far as fabric but anyway i'm gonna look i'm trying to learn torrid and see if i can get you know 15 dollars out of a piece like this i know some people are getting 30 and 40 dollars out of certain torrid pieces and i just never have been able to do that I'm not saying i can't but this is a rayon nylon stretch spandex blend and it's fully lined so I'm gonna look this up see if I can figure it out and try to get over 15 otherwise I probably won't pick it up I don't know how it does at that consignment store they don't really put out a list of brands that they're looking for um, necessarily this here is just gonna go on consignment it's just a brand new kind of t-shirt and it's a Massimo so I'm just gonna consign that we live in a we live in a town um even there an hour and a half away there is no target so target brands you know do better than you think there 
Um, they can't just go to Target and pay 10 bucks for that. These are Polo Ralph Lauren. They're size boys eight. But again, I'm trying to fill my store with that keyword. And so, yep, I just went ahead and got them. I'm sure I'll only get around 10 if that, but it's getting that keyword in my store. These I always do good with. Um, the comps may not be there, but I do so good on padded bike shorts. And that's what these are. And I always look in here, make sure there's no stains. And then, of course, I wash them. But um, <coughs> um, they are a size medium. Normally, they say men's or women's. Um, I should have checked that because that makes it hard for me. But um, either way, I think they are a little bit bigger medium. So I think they're a men's. But anywho, we'll find out. And then this I'm excited about. This is a beautiful piece, too. All right, this is a Lem Lem, and it's by uh, Leah Kabede or Kabid, and it's a large, and it's just this really pretty knitted, and it was just laying in the bins. Um, you know, I don't know if people thought it was handmade or what they thought, but I have not found any damage on it. So, anyway, it says it's a large, and they make dresses in this knitted thing. So, I'm thinking I'll get about 40. I'll double check it, but it's real heavy. It's a real heavy, like, tight, tight, heavy knit. It's really pretty. All right. A couple more here, guys. This is Victoria's Secret Extra Small. They're just pajamas. I'm just going to consign these. I will look them up. I know some Victoria's Secret can go high. I don't think these are one of them. And um, they're both, you know, extra small, just pajamas. But that'll be a good consignment thing. In Wyoming, you know, be good. And then this, where is it? This is um, a Wild Fable skirt. And I'm just going to consign this. It's got a buckle. It's like a green um, tartan kind of thing. And I'm trying to find what size. Oh, here we go. It is a size extra small. So, again, not something I'm going to try to put on eBay. We'll see how that does. All right, then this is a real heavy piece. Again, Torrid 14R. That's the only reason that made me doubt it is it's only a 14 um, but it's a real cute pair of pants with a great color, and they are, you know, flare leg. So I thought for that reason that I should try them. I would have paid probably two or two fifty because these are not lightweight pants. They have, see what the fabric is. Let's see, rayon, nylon, and spandex, and they're kind of all. They feel like the Beta Brand pants. That's how heavy these feel. So um, I'm going to try for 20. I'll look at what flare leg in a 14 do on Torrid and see. But I think it's like with Lane Bryan. I used to do Lane Bryan all the time, but I was buying the sizes that were like under a size 18, like a 16, 18, and I just could not move them. Now Lane Bryan in a lot bigger size, I can kind of move. And then this is my last item. It's an Oleg Cassini. It's a really nice men's sweater. And I looked these up, and I should be able to get around 20. It is a cashmere, cotton cashmere, so that's why. And it's just, it seems to be in very good condition, and it's a size large, so it's a good size. So that's why I picked it up. I might even try for more since it has cashmere in it. So, all right, guys, that is my haul. I am going to, I don't know how much eBay I got versus consignment. It looks like I got a lot more eBay, which is what I was aiming for. That's what I went for. Um, so I'm going to get this turned around. I'm going to try to get a bunch of these pieces to my VA. Um, it's 411. I don't know if I'm going to get it done tonight, but I'd really like to. So I'm going to try to photo it, get it to him, get him at least 30 pieces of it so he can be working on that and I can have it back by tomorrow morning. And, um, I'll let you know in the future how many pieces I got. I just go by weight. It looks like around 40 eBay pieces, but I will let you know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to my haul. I'm going to go get to work, and I will have a shipping video either late tonight or in the morning. Have a good day. Bye-bye.